You don't look like Elvis. We can't start with that. We can't start with that. Will we start with that? Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to know. <laughs> can't believe we're doing this. Hi, everybody. My name is Patrick Dunn. I am the 2021 Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist World World Champion. Champion Patrick Dunn. This is, uh, these, these are quick questions with Patrick Dunn, 2021 Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Champion. <clears throat> Cut to the credits. I don't know how this is working. What's kind of cool is I got a lot of uh, direct messages and Facebook uh, posts and all this um, asking a lot of cool, kind of fun, quirky questions um, from uh, my friends and new uh, Elvis fans who have found me since uh, Elvis week two weeks ago. Uh, I figured, you know what, we'll just try and answer them real quick within like two minutes and we can all get back to our lives. Huh? Name, uh, where you're from, and occupation. My name is Patrick Dunn. Uh, I'm from New York City, based out of New York City, and uh, I guess my occupation is an actor. I do a lot of theater, and performing as Elvis has kind of stemmed from that, which we will certainly get into, I'm sure. Where have you been? Hmm. I was really into uh, the ETA world back in 2015 and 16. In fact, I made the ultimate two years in a row, scored top five both years. So those people who are saying, who's the new guy, haven't been paying very good attention. Uh, and the reason I disappeared was to go do um, some musicals. That's my primary source of work. And uh, so I got to do a show by Sarah Bareilles called Waitress. I went on to do a little show called The Phantom of the Opera where I got to play the Phantom on some uh, certain occasions. And then pre-pandemic was starring as Jean Valjean in the North American tour of Les Miserables. Uh, ah. <laughs> Did you forget about Elvis? Of course I didn't forget about Elvis. So those types of contracts are really long term, so it, it doesn't really allow some like weekend festivals to kind of pop in and out of your schedule. But what I did do, every Playbill biography where you would see my credits and what shows that I've done, I would always put a TCB at the very bottom. Now what was cool is some people would come up to me at the stage door and say, oh, are you an Elvis fan? And I'd be like, yes. And those who were really paying attention in 15 and 16 would go, are you that Pat Dunn? And I would go, yes. Cool. Favorite Elvis jumpsuit? My favorite one that he wore or that I wore? My favorite jumpsuit that uh, Elvis wore was the American Eagle, 1972 Aloha from Hawaii. It's the best. My favorite one that I like to wear is whichever is the cleanest. Uh, but if I had to choose, it would be the Comet or the Adonis suit. And he wore that in Madison Square Garden and me being a New York City boy. And also one of the very first kind of pricey suits that I bought when I realized that being an ETA uh, was going to be a thing for me. E oh, here's a cool one. This is from one of my friends who actually works in the theater. What is the ultimate? <laughs> the ultimate Elvis tribute artist competition is basically the Super Bowl of Elvi. You have to win a preliminary, these contests that are held all around the world. When you win one of those, you punch your ticket to Graceland during Elvis week, where you are with the top of the game as far as the Elvis tribute world is concerned. You get judged on things like moves, uh, look, stage presence, the voice counts twice. If you uh, progress through those rounds and you win that, you're crowned the ultimate Elvis tribute artist champion of that year. You get a sweet check for 20 grand contract with Elvis Presley Enterprises and an amazing gold belt. How did you get into performing as Elvis? Hmm. Started back in college. I was doing a show and needed a little bit of inspiration for a role. Found Elvis. That's when I really started studying him and his nuances and his vocal technique. And I thought, this guy's got it. Got it. But that's when kind of my love grew for performing as Elvis. And then in New York City, my buddy and I would go karaoke and he would break into the bathroom, steal a roll of toilet paper. I would uh, take toilet paper scarves and give them to every person in the bar. That's when I realized I could sound like Elvis and the scarves were good because we wouldn't pay for a drink the rest of the night. And then called on some of my Broadway friends who do hair and built me a wig, make costumes and built me my first jumpsuit. And then it just snowballed from there into so much more fun and so much more respect. Um, and that's when I really started to kind of hone my Elvis. Ooh, favorite Elvis song. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Gotta be the American Trilogy. It's just epic. His voice is epic. The orchestra is epic. So... Epic, 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 epic. American Trilogy, look it up. iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you have. Do it now. A double whammy. Uh, what does your real singing voice sound like? Kind of like this.
next question is, what does your Elvis voice sound like? Kind of like that. I shall in humble adoration and How have you responded to the haters after winning the ultimate? Who? I have haters? Huh? Great question from one of my friends in the theater. What is the difference between a tribute artist and an impersonator? Um, a tribute artist doesn't act like we're uh, the man himself. I won't get up there and be like, I recorded this song back in 1971. I will say things like Elvis recorded that song. For portraying him, we want to be as close as we can to him and accurate vocally stylistically and look-wise, as opposed to just, you know, being the man. That's never been my style to walk around all the time with the high collars and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, it's just, I don't, I don't like that. You don't look like Elvis. And there it is. That's true, I don't want to. <laughs> Unless I'm being asked to, maybe paid to. Uh, there's gotta be a special reason. I'm Patrick, there's only one Elvis, and that's the way I see it. Do you, do you wear a wig and makeup? I hope I wear a wig. I do. <laughs> makeup. It takes me about uh, maybe an hour to an hour and a half. I really like it. I enjoy the transformation because it gets me into the character like any other character I've played in the theater, whether it's the Phantom in Phantom of the Opera or Romeo and Romeo and Juliet. It's kind of part of my process. And then afterwards, I like to take it off and become Patrick again, separate myself from the man. Also, I like to sneak around and see who's talking smack about my shows and they don't know who I am. Uh, final question. What is your appearance and performance schedule? That's a really good question. We have some fun things involved with Graceland. Uh, November, December, I'll be appearing with Legends in Concert in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'll have a blue Christmas. Come see me. And then afterwards, there's this little thing called the Ultimate Weekend, uh, which is going to be at Graceland, the guest house at Graceland, Elvis Presley's Memphis. Maybe you should um, look up those dates for 2022, the Ultimate Weekend, and go see who's going to be there. And for those of you who say, I don't look like Elvis, um, Patrick will sign off, and uh, I hope to see you soon around the circuit at the festivals at Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, please come say hi. And uh, this is your 2021 Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Champion, signing off. How's this? A little bit better?